Rolling. Hey, 944 fans, Tim again here at CRE in San Diego. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the AOS, the air oil separator on your engines. Uh, the job of this thing is to condense oil vapors out of your uh, crankcase ventilation system before they get into your throttle body and get burned out through the cat to clean up the air. Porsche didn't want to just vent this to the atmosphere. They want to clean up those oil vapors. So uh, I've got a couple of AOSs right here. These things are a lot simpler than people believe. And if you can uh, come right over here, here's a complete one right here. Here's one that's been taken apart, cap off. It's just a hollow tube. That's all it is. It's just a hollow tube. There's no features in there at all. But you'll notice that this inlet right here is offset. It's not in the center, it's offset like that. So the air can come in through here and swirl around. And the, the, it looks like Porsche's idea was to get the oil vapors, the droplets to condense against the walls of the AOS and run back down into the crankcase, which is your, your block and your oil pan. Okay, so simple, 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 just a swirl tube to, to try to get rid of some oil vapors. Uh, I have two right here, lids off on this one. Here's an early, early one here, like 83, 84. You can see that the uh, inlet, uh, top and bottom, are the same diameter. This is a later evolution, and the bottom is a, a good deal bigger than the top one right here. So when you're dealing with this uh, pair of seals, you gotta make sure you get the right ones. Order that by model number, not by year of the car, uh, as far as production date, but the model uh, year, model year 83, model year 84, 85 and a half. Uh, so this is late one, this is early, and it's easy to get these uh, orange seals uh, mixed up. If you have a whole kit for an engine rebuild, it's easy to get them mixed up with the rear seals for the uh, rear of the counterbalance shaft covers. So make sure you don't mix those guys up. On the early cars, like I said, these are the same. Late cars, there's two different sizes. Uh, the late top one is a, uh, let me put my glasses on here for a second, is a uh, 20, 20 millimeter by five millimeter, and the bottom one is a 24 by five millimeter. So you can keep from, from getting those things messed up. Don't over torque these things going in with your eight millimeter fasteners. They get a metal sleeve in there uh, that, that does the job. You don't need to crank them up too much. I do like to lube these guys when they're going into the uh, block of the engine so that they go in easily and, and help preserve them to stay in there and make a nice airtight seal. Uh, another difference between early and late is you can see this has got a smooth cap on the early one. The late ones are a little easier to use. They have ridges on there to help you get a grip on that thing. So there's four places that these AOSs can leak. The first one is the most obvious right here, uh, O-ring on the cap. That can create a vacuum leak for, for your intake system. The other two we pointed out are these O-rings right here. And then the one that people don't know about a lot of times is underneath, underneath this cap right here. There is a spaghetti seal, we call it. It's this guy right here. So that's gonna go underneath this cap. There's six little barbs around there and a locating tab. So it's a little bit difficult, but you can get Judah screwdrivers in there and undo those tabs and pop that cap off to replace this seal. So one, two, that, and three, four right here uh, the, underneath the cap, right? So yeah, one, two, three, four. That'll seal up your AOS. Make sure you don't have any vacuum leaks. Uh, which are uh, you know nasty on our uh, 944s because we've got to have that flow sensing system, uh, the airflow meter being the only guy that lets air in. So it's measured. We can precisely calibrate how much fuel goes in to the uh, to the engine. Okay, so that's AOS, basically a uh, uh, an, a hollow swirling tube to condense your oil vapors and get them back into the engine so they don't get burned through your throttle body and gum that up and your intake and gum that up and now to the cat cleaned up. We want to get those oil vapors back into the oil pan into that pool of oil. All right, have fun with your 944. See you later.